This is the that question from Chops. Have you ever organized a Sunday session with the boys and Shut not turned up. up? Are you working? What kind of work do you do? Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of your second favorite podcast. We have the guest of your first favorite podcast. Bro, don't be humble now. I read you a bio, it's the best <laughs> podcast in New Zealand. <laughs> So don't fucking yeah, nah, don't nah. hand me on here, G. But you just gotta butter the guests up, bro. Butter nah. them up, bro. Get them ready. Nah, don't even hit me. Prime and miss me with that. Um, but yeah, you know, um, if you've been following for the last two, three months, shit, it's been a while actually. He was the first guest on the fast, show. Though. Yeah, he was yeah. the first guest on the show. And he's the last guest. Oh, yeah, this last episode ever. Ever. Five ever. episode. I hate podcast. <laughs> yeah, this shit sucks. It's stressful. Can never get my posts uploaded. <sighs> That Shut was actually just, I was debating buying data for ages because <laughs> I left the office and I was like I should buy data now so I could know where I'm going but it had the offline <laughs> maps and yeah, it's, you can it save said, a little bit of it that. said like 10 minutes and all green and I was like bro it's not 10 minutes and I know it's not all green it's all stopped <laughs> it's a hack bro it's a, ha- a hustle sorry not a hack um, but yeah you guys know the bro Finn Alan Av podcast host lots of other stuff he's the Gary V of NZ that was the title of I won eh? Yeah. That's how I got all the views, bro. No, because yeah. you knew it was me. No, I thought it was See, me. you should have told me to stay humble. It's just going to no, slowly bro. go down. That's, that was because of Gary V. Everyone who says you like Gary V. just yeah. accidentally yeah. clicks on the podcast. Oh, what's this? What's oh, this? Oh, this trash. Nah, I get it all. All right. I've got a few things I want to talk about. i got my my notebook, my 2019 diary that I never used. Can we just firstly shout out the book oh, yeah. from Middle Ground, bro? As you can see. Yours is literally flames. Yeah. That's actually pretty fuego, to be honest. It is pretty fuego. Um, But yeah, shout out to Middle Ground. Mm. Follow them on Instagram. It's a bro drop. Also, Middle Ground Collectibles. That's a vibe. Yeah, that is a vibe. Um, But yeah, I just got the bro Finn back on so we can have more shans. (laughs) And chat. Honestly, only ever heard that term from one other dude. Who? And he he is a shan himself. (laughs) One of my old flatmates, Andrew. Does he use it well or nah? Nah, bro. <laughs> Trash. But yeah, I got him back on. We're going to talk about podcasting mostly. Bit of Pokemon stuff, you know. And then everyone's favourite segment, the quick fire questions. Which wasn't a thing when you were last on. So I hope you're ready. Oh, bro, I'm always ready. That's I stay awesome. ready. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, basically, podcasting. One of the main things I wanted to bring up was uh, execution, though. Oh, yep. Okay, nah, he's gone. No more. Yep, that's the episode. Nah, just walking out. Nah, I just feel like I want a hat to wear too, because oh, you're yeah. wearing a hat. Do so it. I feel like I'm just going to wear a hat to hide my face too, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, this might do. Yeah. I don't know, but I can't really see what, I can see what I look like through the mirror, but I can't. Maybe I'll just skip it. I'm going to commit to look my hat like this. I'll just roll head. with my like five head, like real accentuated from the light. Okay, yeah, sorry bro, just interrupting your yeah, podcast and whatnot. You can cut it out, maybe yeah. not, you know. <laughs> nah, Seeb's cut it. Seeb's, yeah. yeah. No censorship here, no censorship. Yeah, That's yeah. what I say, but it's really just lazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <hard. laughs> but now, nah, one of the main things I want to talk about is um, the topic title is Execution. And basically what I wanted to see is like, how do you go from, because I'm, I think I'm kind of like you in some ways and how I always have these like ideas of like things I want to do, but I never actually like pull the trigger and actually like go forward with it, except for the podcast. Mm. But I found that once I started doing this, I'm like, oh, actually I could probably do this or this or like start making YouTube videos or content or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So what is like, what is your thought process when it goes from like a idea to like actually executing it and do you have like a conscious thought process or you just leave something like fuck that could be cool I might just start doing that yeah bro it depends I actually had a dude from Aussie um, my mate Noah he actually hit me up today because he's starting a business and he was like bro like, what was your process of starting like when you opened up like face is that supposed to be all the way down the game yeah yeah okay yeah. so it's um 
and yeah, you hit me up, and I was kind of like, oh, you know, that's a good question. Like, cause we, like, we did, we did do things like some of the things we did to start were, you know, like just going through the motions, and some were like pretty purposeful. Yeah. And then you look back like twelve months later, and you're like, what were we up? Yeah, like, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. was to do it again, yeah, I would yeah, started yeah. like this. But yeah, um, in terms of the process of starting things, bro, um, from the idea to the execution, like you just asked, I am a pretty big fan of like whiteboarding now. Like I've got yeah, myself yeah. a whiteboard, and I'll go through. I have, I do have like this process. This I can show you after. It's like a seven step process of um, like that bringing that idea into play. And it sort of starts with, like, setting some goal, like, sort of conditioning your brain to be like, hey, I'm going to do this. And then it start, goes into, like, setting some actual, like, fiscal or, like, uh, trackable goals, like, in terms of numbers. Yeah. And it sort of goes between the three things of, um, like, a to- like, for example, the business is, like, net worth uh, donation and something else that I've forgotten. And then from there it goes to, okay, these are my goals uh, what do I need to do to get myself from where I am right now? So whether it be an ideation phase or whether that be, you know, you've already started, you yeah. need to look at where you are now and then where you want to be and that's that gap. Yeah. So you do a gap analysis there and you'd be like, okay, How do I so what do I need to do to fill that gap yeah. in to get from <clears throat> here to there? And then you sort of just break it down further and further and further It go and you go through things like, okay, how am I like going to market for this idea? How yeah. am I going to actually do this idea um, and then other things you can look at are like what are problems like if I look at this from whoever I'm trying to deliver the idea to what are the problems I can see and I like pick apart yeah. and then just solve it tick it off one by one or it might even be like for example with the business it was like um, distributing stuff or like packaging it's like okay how am I going to fix this packaging so that when we get it like it's all good yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess that's probably the main thing bro and then like obviously the execution is one thing but it doesn't just end with the execution like if you keep doing it like you have with the podcast for example yeah. you'll know that you've probably learned heaps since you actually started yeah. it, and you've probably changed a few things I know you've changed a few yeah, things because yeah, I've yeah. seen you yeah. and like you've changed a few things you've added a few things in and that's sort of the biggest thing is like that continuous sort of reflection and improvement yeah, yeah. so like reflecting on it like what worked well what didn't work well how can I improve it and then testing, like tweaking, trying, yeah, yeah. reflecting and yeah. going through that process Just repeating again. the process. Yeah. So there's sort of like that initial process that you look at and then there's that ongoing one as well. Yeah. Which I think is like, and like reflection is real important, bro. Especially yeah. like whether it be execution, like at the start or throughout. Bit of a long answer, bro, but just thought I'd get nice and deep for you there. Yeah, it's pretty deep. Give it my best to, to give you some nice, thorough usable answers for nice. you and your listeners yeah yeah see dropping adding. bombs here. bro Alan Ab, bro we straight add value yeah there, bro. there we go there we go nothing less than value. um yeah no nah, I just wanted to ask that because um like in my I think it was the third episode I was talking to my bro Paul who like owns restaurants and stuff gee that dude <laughs> he's, out of the game. he's funny eh Bro, that uh, that story with the <laughs> when Justin was, Bieber when he had too, when he had too much money and he was just burning through it bro I was <laughs> Oh, oh, shout out to Paul, bro. Bro. shout out. Bro, I actually didn't realise how old he was, eh? Because I was like, yeah, I'll try to get like, people around my age, like maybe a few years older. And then I was like, oh, so when did you start? Like, He's like, ah, oh, you know, back in 1950. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, bro. Back in my day. Um, but yeah, he talked about like execution, or execution, no, oh, not executioners, executors, mm. and like dreamers. Yeah, and, bro. Not like not necessarily that like dreamers is a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but it's only gonna be a dream unless you do something. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. And like when when he said that, I was like, oh, I'm doing that for the podcast. <laughs> like, like there's like a like for a, another way of looking at that, especially with businesses. Like there's entrepreneurs and there's entrepreneurs. And, like entrepreneurs are the people who think about it, bro. That they is, just want to be it. That's such a funny term. Think about it. Yeah, but then they don't actually because they they want it, they want that lifestyle, and yeah. then an entrepreneur is someone who actually just does it. Yeah, like the nice. biggest thing I reckon that like heaps people don't actually realise is that like bro, no one actually knows what they're doing. They're just figuring out as you yeah, know. Yeah. And like, bro, what did I say? Yeah. And once right. you start, that's when you figure out and you start learning and you start like again through that process that yeah. 
Thank the God. process is funny too because like I thought after about a month I'd be able to streamline the process and have it like editing everything posting it like I'd have it down to like a T I know exactly mm. <laughs> every single week there's a new issue there's a new problem or there's the same problem that's yeah. like come up in a different way I'm like bro I think the biggest thing for like us especially is because it's not I keep being like we're not Logan Paul you know like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like because you don't have a team around you and because you do other stuff with your life yeah because they literally just have to yeah. sit here walk off if other stuff comes up in your life that you prioritise over it mm. then that means that sometimes the same issues can re- like yeah, for yeah. example me with the upload stuff yeah 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 like I've had a couple times where it's the same thing and I know exactly why the issues yeah, happen yeah. but it's because I've been like oh wow I've actually got to do this like, piece of it's time as well like this obviously isn't our main like this isn't where we invest all our time I wish this was bro, bro. Same, mate. I wish this was the 40 minute chat and a 5 minute edit upload beauty yeah well not even edit upload just hey send it to the bro yeah. send it to my intern yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey bro like, that's mean that's mean um, yeah I better not go too much off track otherwise this chat will be unable to follow um, but yeah so based off that execution thing I wanted to see you kind of touched on it already but what have been some of your main like uh, what's the word I think I wrote it in here. Struggles. Struggles. Um, that you've had to face. With what? Podcasting specifically. In terms of execution? Or just in terms of like... Like in terms of just doing it? Yeah, doing it. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah, the way I sh- thought about it was like, so we've executed it, we've started it. Yeah. And then the next phase is like, oh, what are those issues that you keep coming into or that happen that you wouldn't expect otherwise if you hadn't started? I'll touch on two I'm going to go into two yeah. um, and like challenges that I've faced or I'm facing so the first one I kind of touched on before we kind of touched on was is like in terms of the technical side of it so um, which I feel like that's where most of the problems come the from. biggest and like the most nuances I get is into is the upload so um, I have an old computer I'm trying to get a new computer Um, get one for Christmas or something I don't know Um, and like a lot of problems or like times where I get annoyed and stressed is because I have a time where I want to upload and I want to be consistent with it and I'm not always able to do that because either my computer is too slow to export the video or um, it's like there's bad Wi-Fi or for example you know I'm trying to post and there's no connection connection. Um, and so that's sort of a challenge for me that I know that I need to be more organized like yeah. I used to be. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then stuff's just come yeah, up. Yeah, because organization haven't. kills that. Eh? If you've yeah. got it ready for like four you, days If before. you do it four days before, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter because it doesn't need to be up. People aren't waiting. Yeah. The other thing to think about as well is that you know you don't actually have 2,000 people waiting on you to like messaging you being like, bro, where is it? It's five yeah. minutes late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I've got to tell myself what, as well. Like, for example, My issue's not that though. Mine is like just me, myself. I'm like trying to be the same every time, you know? It's like, I, like yeah, you're right. I don't have the 2,000 people hitting me up. I've mm-hmm. got me like, yeah. telling myself. It's annoying is, for me because I put that expectation on myself, which is the biggest one first yeah. and foremost. Yeah, yeah. And then I also have part of expectation is that like I'm going to deliver that to my audience. So yeah, I don't yeah, like letting yeah. them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's one of the challenges. Um, also, obviously, as we see, like the solution to that is being organised, um, and you know that's sometimes out of your control. Like if you if you can't get a guest until the day before, then that's when you're going to have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last week I did the, the episode with Taylor on that content creation and like yeah, the yeah. summer body stuff. Uh, the PT I did that on Tuesday. Well, yeah, well, it's Tuesday now. I'm yeah. just going out tomorrow. So, so like that. That side of it, I did. I actually never really have any problems with the audio because the audio is so easy. Yeah, uh, it's uh, just the video. Yeah, and, actually, yeah. and it's and, so much memory. Yeah, it just and I'm, I like edit the video too. So, but I'm playing around with that. That's the that's the first sort of challenge, bro. The second challenge that I'm now facing, and this is a bit more of a juicy one to talk about, is actually growing the audience. Like, because I've got my initial. I've got my initial audience. I've got my initial sort of following. Like, I'm getting like an all good more or less consistent number of downloads per week yep. number of views per week now what I'm starting to look at as a challenge is getting past that plateau that I'm at now to yeah. the next stage yeah. so yeah. Um, that's with like views that's with downloads that's with Instagram followers yep. um, and 
because I know that if I keep doing what I'm doing, like I'm I'm adding value to people and stuff. Yeah. I just want to now get that value, like that entertainment, that like education, yeah. the tips people can yeah. take. I want to yeah. get that to more people now. Yeah. But um, that's like my mate's just got home from uni and he's doing some marketing stuff. So I'm gonna start looking at some stuff with him, which will be fun for us. Me, me. Um, yeah, bro. Couple couple of challenges yeah, for you. Yeah, couple of challenges. Mm. Um, so if you had the bullet point. Maybe I'll say two for each. Like, kind of... Oh, no, nah, actually, that's, that's done. Yeah, don't worry about that. Dude. I can't, bro. Go for it back yourself. No, no, no. I'm just trying to think of, like, a, a simple way. Okay, so what are some... Like, simple solutions or simple... Yeah, simple solutions. Two for each. Or maybe just one for each of those problems. So if we looked at that technical one... It'd probably um, be... The first most obvious solution is do it earlier. Do it earlier, yeah. The second one is obviously better equipment, yeah, um, or streamlining it by yeah. getting someone to do it for you, yeah. Which is which is when you either are getting money to do that or you're investing money yeah. to do that, yeah. Um, for the sake of growing, it's so the one that you can get money. So that's that's the yeah. first one. However, wait, I'll, okay. sorry, I'll interrupt you there. Just at this stage, though, is a good legit. Like I feel like I hear heaps of like big YouTubers and like influencers or whatever. They always say like. Just pick up a camera or a microphone or just start doing it. Mm, yes, and I like do. this is semi proof mm. that you can't like we're complaining about our technology or whatever our mm. whatever we have our gear, but we're still doing it. You know, like it's we're we're struggling a little bit. It's not a streamlined process, but we're still like, yeah. But you're still doing it. Yeah, like, yeah. at the end of the day, if you want to do something bad enough, like you'll do it and you'll yeah, get it done exactly. with what you have. Yeah. Like, Mr. Beast, the biggest, like, YouTuber, bro. Right. He recorded it on, like, one of those trash phones, and, like, his audience was asking him to get a better thing, but he's like, bro, I can't. can't I'm saving it. up yeah. money. Yeah, it's pretty Bro, good. some of his old videos are, like, so Cracker. stupid, but, like, they're actually good, though. Yeah. Like, the quality's, yeah, you know, quality. Like, of the actual yeah, videos. Is, but, like, all his ideas and stuff, they're, like, mm. on point. Like, like stupidly funny. Yeah. Yeah. Like, do you know what video made him, like, pop off, eh? Nah. It's literally him counting to a million. Bro, yeah, like, those videos are crack. <laughs> like, who thinks of that? Like, and then you think, oh, yeah, whatever, I can count to it's a million. And then you think about it, it's like, fuck, can I count to one, a thousand? Two, yeah, like, fuck. Three, four. All right, guys, the rest of this podcast is going to be us counting. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hope this gets the most views. Um, but, um, sorry, I interjected you there. But so that was for the first one. Yeah. The second one for the um, uh, growing, growing past oh, yeah, the plateau. Yeah, yeah. Um, I already have the solution for and I'm working on that now and that's like obviously the first most basic one is with your guests yep. is getting them to promote it yep. but a further step from that other than just saying that is making sure that you slash I slash we get guests um, outside of a network to our own so it's real I, I think like and mm, I, I've noticed point. it as well it's like the people that I've done so far because you start with who you know yeah, it's yeah, easy yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, more or less like most of my friend group is some of their friend group whereas if you get someone on who you actually have no clue who they are yeah that's like, a whole different group of that's going to be a completely whole yeah, different yeah, group yeah, so yeah. going past that guest thing of guests that you know to guests that you don't know that have a completely different demographic yeah. that's that's one of them the other one that we're going to do is start marketing it um, and <coughs> marketing it to an international audience what I'm going to work on with my mate I'm going to put together a marketing plan and look to do that and a couple other things as well, bro. But yeah. Do you have many um like viewers or listeners from overseas? Yeah, right. But have. I do, and I don't know how they found it or like. But it's like this. I I'm pretty sure it's the same people. It's not just like Russian bots or something. Because it's like the same areas each each yeah. podcast, and it's like the same percentages. So yeah. I'm really confused. So like, shout out to all you guys. Like, I think I've got something like Ireland, like yeah, one percent in Ireland. The other thing as well is that some people could be using VPNs. Oh, I didn't think about that. But, in order to not piss both of our bubbles, <laughs> fingers crossed. Be like, nah, bro, we've got... We've got worldwide. Nah, like, for example, like, I know people in Aussie listen. Like, yeah. I know because there's, like, you know, yeah, people yeah. in VP into Aussie. Like, when you start getting things from, like, Uzbekistan, that's when you like, <laughs> yeah, Those are the Russian <laughs> lights, bro. How did that get there, you know? <laughs> but, like, because like, I got one random... Um, what's it called, like a review on, I think it's on Apple Podcast. Yeah. And it was like after my first ep with you and they were just like, they actually listened to it, I could tell from their comment, they were like, oh, yeah. um, 
glad I stumbled upon this. Can't wait to see how far you go. And I was like, oh, Buzzy, like that's pretty mean. But yeah, that's that's a kind of our big thing. I wrote that. <laughs> Is it actually? Or no? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I wrote that. I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was me. Yeah, because I went and wrote it. I was like, oh, wrote that. I actually don't know if you're joking. <laughs> nah, like data. Oh fuck. <laughs> wait, show me the username afterwards, and we'll get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because my username's not my name. It's like, That's why I was confused. Yeah, it's like I a was random like, username. Because I like complain. I when I played Fortnite on my phone, I like glitched out, so I wrote a complaint. But it's my name. It was like stop the glitches or something. Bro, I think it was you. Yo, that's me, G. <laughs> <laughs> oh, always... bro. I hear I was thought I was catching new listeners, but really, it's just your boy playing. It's just your boy. No, nah, but like, so for example, um, yeah, like Aussie and US and UK, that's just like when you get to like, like these random ones, <laughs> like you just don't know, eh? like Nepal, I don't know. Shout out to all the Ghana listeners. <laughs> yeah, I don't know my one listener from Ghana. Uh, hopefully they come over, hopefully I can poach your Ghana listeners. Yo, hard. <laughs> just specifically that everyone else can just fuck off. everyone else can answer you. Okay. Tips. For someone who's starting a podcast, I will well, say top three tips. Like, I think we've probably kind of covered like the main things that they should do. But if you had to bullet point it, just first one start. Bam. Like, like whatever the topic you're interested in or whatever you're wanting to do. Like, you obviously, if you're thinking about doing a podcast, you probably have an idea. So my advice would just be start. Yeah. Um, like that's the biggest one to be honest. The yeah. second one is um. I don't know, bro, to be honest, like, the biggest thing is just starting it. Yeah, fuck, I'll just say one. Number yeah, one. like, okay, and now, I feel like if you're listening at this point, or if you're wondering about listening to a podcast, like, if you've listened to the last however many minutes we've been talking, that's, like, that's going to add heaps of value to you, you know? Like, just that stuff we've talked about, the stuff we've touched on. Who would have known? Uh, Same season you, can be... Bro, informational. And if you look at the first um, one that you did with me, bro, like you can already see, like oh, I'm just smiling to myself because you're so much better than you at the start. I remember I was like, like you're making us, you're embarrassing your first food. Facts, right, bro. Like, facts. It's, like you're so much better. Facts. You're so much better at controlling the conversation. Like you, you have a point that you're obviously pursuing. Like, I can see, like yeah, you have your the notes, journey, food, yeah. but like you've got a destination in mind for this yeah. conversation. It's cool, bro, because you're yeah. like, you know. But I remember the first one. So I asked answer. you a question, and while you're answering, I'm thinking of the next one, and I like Loki didn't hear anything Bro, you, yeah. you said. Or well, like, you just like you just started you're like. So um, <laughs> another question. <laughs> yeah, like I would just be like, end like a real deep thing about touch, and you'd be like, yeah. So um, flat essentials, bro. <laughs> real deep thing. So you got a touch. you got a podcast, L and F. Oh yeah. Oh, oh sweet, sweet. Bro. No, no, we'll say. Oh, I podcast dropped the old me. But anyway, I uh, you probably saw this when I put it out to the to the to the fan base, the the simp army as I like to call it. No them. one answered, bro. Nah, they did. They did. They came through. But I think one of my mates, um, I don't think he realized that I was like saying questions for you because he literally my mate Mitch, his question was want to scrap question mark. Yo, come see me, brother. <laughs> Can't see me, G. <laughs> Mitch, I, I'm pretty sure he watches all of them. What are you up to, G? Why are you trying to scrap him, bro? He's, nah, he, he's a good guy. I'm not a scrapper, bro. I'm a lover, not a father. Yeah, hard. Okay, and <clears throat> Rorp asked this question. Classic Rorp. I don't even want to hear it, bro. Let's skip. He literally, it's, Let's not even, skip. it's not even a question, Let's bro. Skip. He literally said, Jace vs. Finn MMA fight, question mark. Yeah, definitely not. That'd be so out the gate unfair. Although I'd be so keen to, for you, to come spa and for you to like teach me some stuff. Oh, thanks, thanks. Like that would be pretty cool. We'll tear it up. We'll tear it up. To be on. And then um, I'll also teach you some touch. Like, some... Yeah, bro, that'd be good. Just like <laughs> some pointers if you had any. Like, I'm trying yeah. to just work on my game. Yeah, I'm a pretty good winger as well. So I think I yeah, can add some value. Probably, so. yeah. <laughs> probably, Jay. Yeah. Um, and this last question is actually a segue into something I wanted to touch on this week. Okay. And okay. it's from uh, Middle Ground Collectibles, <laughs> yeah. who's a completely different person to the last person who asked a question. <laughs> no, bro, I'm done. I'm done with this <laughs> podcast. I'm There's actually one out. more question, but I say I added it to the quick fire questions because I think. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, but yeah, that's from Chop, so you can. Um, Chop you can, up, you can up. Cheer, cheer. Um, but yeah, this this question from Middle Ground Collectibles. I reckon I know what Chop's question is, but I'm just gonna. 
Not you safe. probably can guess it. But yeah, we'll wait, we'll wait. We'll save it. Stay tuned. <clears throat> What's your stance on Pokemon collecting? Bro, don't talk to me about that. Bro, Middle hold. ground collectibles because the bro is down the hole. Who? Go penny, bro. Middle ground collectibles. I'm just going to at you right now. Call him out. Call him out. I've, bro, I've been such a bad influence on him. I spent one lockdown there, bro. I got him, like, addicted to gambling. <laughs> like, to the TAB. <laughs> I've been gambling all day, eh? And then Pokemon, like, did that thing on Pokemon and now the bro's, like, buying them heaps. Okay, show me, show me. Got some full arts, got some Yu-Gi-Oh's. Oh, yeah, I just got, these are actually the bros. I actually racked them, but. Yeah, they're pretty tough. I think if you get these graded, bro, like, this one can get up to, like, 400. Yeah, it's pretty safe. Yeah. Pokemon collecting, it was a definite wave. It was a definite trend and hype. Yeah, I, I got talked s- about this on the, on my one with Middle Ground. Yeah, go watch it. What episode is that? Uh, 13. Episode 13 of Alan Earth. If you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, then go watch that episode because they pretty much cover the whole base. It's yeah, it's a real basis. good... Yeah, that's a whole conversation in itself. That is tough, bro. For the viewers, if you're listening, guts, but... It's a shiny Rayquaza PSA 9. Just a cool card. Um, yeah, collecting any more, to be honest, I think. Um, like, I sort of talked about with Raw, like, you, just, you actually have to be into it to do it. Like, I don't think, from an investment point of view, like, it's pretty seized because... Facts. Yeah. Like, I got real hyped when the whole Logan Ball, like, wave came out. Everyone yeah. got hissing. I got all my cards out, bro. And bro, how about that Machamp was, though? Yeah, first edition Machamp. Fuck, bro, that's pretty tough, G. Uh, <laughs> when Raw told me that, I was like, "Fuck off, no way!" Bro, like, first you edition, just had that in your yeah, like, old just collection, chilling. bro. But like, you know, especially no, nah, not even in New Zealand. Just like, it's a wave, and to get like decent money out of cards, you have got to get them graded. And graded grading <laughs> takes like um like two months, a Thanks. month to two months. Bro, so it's I, kind of seeds like. And I I don't reckon like unless like that first like the first edition stuff slash that first lot of cards was mean and then after that like yeah it's just pretty much collectors bro that are into it like the boys on the page bro other than that like oh yeah you know um, I know yeah I actually got sucked in because I started like flipping but I sold one card I got you know my Articuno that I got but I sold that but because it's on eBay and it's my first sale. The money doesn't come into my account, like, it still doesn't come into my account until latest 21st of November, until it's, like, verified. Like, mm. I've, I've shipped it everything, and the guy was like, yeah, sweet. But it's still, like, because of PayPal and eBay, like, the way they work, and it's my first sale, are they, like, or if you have bad um, rep, then they'll, like, hold it yeah. for as long as possible. But so I, like, got to a point where I was like, yo, this is mean. Like, I just made, like, $130 profit. Yeah, and then it's, like, so hard to get my money back. And I don't even have my money back to, like, yeah. reinvest it back. So I'm kind of... But then, in that meantime, I was sucked in, and now I'm trying to get this whole this yeah. whole set. But it was mean. Like, it was, it was mean. It was, like, a nice excitement slash reminder of, like, the childhood. But to be honest, like, it all, it's already gone. Like, there's a few people that have been... No, there's a few people that have been picked up, like, this thing that have been sucked in. I said it with Warp too. I called it. I see like it'll go within six months, Not and there will be a few like there'll be a small percentage of that wave that gets sucked in. Yeah. And like it's now gonna be like you know into it, and the rest of the people will just forget it. <laughs> you know what my mates from work okay. said, bro? What? He goes, bro. I don't know what the fuck happened to you, but over the last like month, you've just gone from a normal person to like a full on Pokemon Collected. trainer. <laughs> yeah. Because I get like packages delivered to work like every couple of days. Dead ass, bro. Yes. Yo, it's actually both you and Bro, Warp and I got like two packs of cards just to do an opening for episode 13. And then since then, like he's been buying. Bro, I know. I brought some of them the other week because they were from my. But I told him I was trying to finish the set and I just said the trade me up on his card. I was like, bro, I'm trying to buy this set. He's like, sorry, bro, I already put it up. So I just bought it. Bro, you still need to buy my full up crumb cramorant what set's it from no no I don't I don't know I don't I'm just trying to finish Dark Mr. Blaze da- what one's that XY? that's Sword and Shield oh Sword and Shield yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. it's the newest like the, the current ones yeah Sword and Shield bro that's my OG but uh, yeah I'm just trying to I'm not gonna lie though I did pre-order Vivid Voltage and <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm gonna get booster packs what did hold. you get the booster I'm gonna get booster packs and just hold them and not open them 
Like, no, nah, not a champion's oh, path. No, no, like, but did you get the box? Actual, like, I'm going to get a box of, boot, like, a boost. Fuck, where I went to... Um, like, 180 bucks. I went to Vagabonds the other day, and I was like, oh, do you not have any Darkness of Blaze um, boosters? Because mm. I was just trying to grab some packs. And he was like, oh, I've got the box. I guarantee everyone stopped listening at this point, bro, <laughs> since we started talking about Pokemon cards. Stop getting into actual value. The worst but, part is, like, Finn's trying to shut it down. I'm so excited about this. Like, nah, I'm like, so into it too, bro. It's just like, I know we can talk about this for ages. The last <laughs> yeah, thing I'm going to say before I tell Jason to move the fuck on is... Shit, yeah, it's been like 30, 36 minutes. That, like, that did inspire me. Like, I'm, like, each new po Because I love Pokemon, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, you know, I never played it as a kid. Yeah, so, like, I play, like, all the games, watch all the movies, watch all the, like, read all the comics and stuff. Anyways, um, so, like, now, from each game, I'm going to get, like, just one of the card packs, just because, like, it's quite cool, you know? Like, yeah, and that's cool if you have, like, yeah. some of the main ones from I'm not going to go and try, like, their big collector's I actually like, just big. brought an ETB today. Good God. Cheers to having Trying to get that shiny Cheers Charizard, to baby. I'm trying to get that shiny Charizard, baby. <laughs> baby, come back. Uh, 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 um, uh, but no, uh, we actually probably should wrap it up soon. I don't realize how long we were yarning for. So, it is now everybody's favorite segment. Quick the close fight. up and shut down this podcast. Oh. The shut your mouth, bro. You could have. You could have said like a main one. Yeah, like the shut your mouth and just turn off the podcast. Nah. I'm stop being, hating it's because we're being the number every, one I'm being every pessimistic viewer right now he's trying to he's just trying keep to, listening it's okay we can be friends he's, and like you can listen to my voice and stuff you can only listen to this podcast and not his yeah except bullshit okay <laughs> <laughs> hit me bro okay, quick, right. quick yeah. five questions you can leave yeah I'll put some explosions in alright <clears throat> you know the drill eh? you know the drill yeah, right. It's in, I started this it's shit. It's in the bro. name, bro. It's in the name. All right. This is the that question from Chops. Have you ever organised a Sunday session with the boys and Shut not turned up? up? Yes, Chops. Main podcast. Bro, how do I know? Is that what you were going to say? Yeah, we actually teamed up on <laughs> Sunday. We went to the pub after camp and I dropped the boys off at the airport. Went home to have dinner my sister's birthday. So it was always happening, but I was really keen to go back out afterwards with them. Yeah, yeah. So it sort of teed it up, like it was real hyped. Bro, and I got home, and all the adrenaline that had been keeping me going through the weekend, because I... Because you had the touch campaign. Yeah, but yeah. something like, um, like my, I got, bro, like it's weird, because I don't actually know what happened. Basically both of my hamstrings stopped working on the weekend. And so the whole weekend, like I was running without them. And so, like, I That's had fucked, just straight willpower keeping me going. And as soon I as actually, like, I didn't realize, you said that in your podcast, I thought you, that was, like, a previous experience. I didn't realize that that no, was, like, just the weekend just gone. Yeah, like, just the weekend just gone. Oh, and fuck. so I got home, and I think it was just when I got to that, like, safe place that was familiar. And just you calmed down, eh? My body shut down. I slept through my sister's birthday dinner, bro. Oh. Like, I literally was going to go have a quick, like, Epsom salts bath, magnesium, magnesium bit of recovery. Was just gonna lie on the bed and check my phone, and I fell asleep for two hours. Do you feel bad now, like Chops? Five Do you feel bad, you asshole? And then he was like calling me and stuff, and I was just asleep. Bro. So, it, yeah, look, my bad, bro. I'll take that on the chin. I don't want to interrupt the quick fire questions, but Chops called me, bro. Like, it was after his last exam on like Tuesday at ten thirty. I was like in bed, ready to go to sleep. Oh, I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, actually. yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, we were out, bro. Oh, were you with him? I took him. <laughs> I took him there. He called me and he's like, bro, are we out there tonight? I was like, yeah, I can't He's wait been to the me. whole time bullying me that night because I took him because it was a physios and Chelsea was there. I took him, bro, and he was just like, bro, just have one, bro. <laughs> bro, just, bro, just have one. No, I so bro, I don't him. want one. I can so imagine. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right, back to quick fight questions. If you had to have an MMA fight with any one of your touch boys, who would it be? Who would I, like, fight? Like, like a proper, like, there's a ref, like, not just like a street fight, like, proper. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's a good question, this is bro. This call-out season, bro. It's, Who you got? It's too good to be, like, quick fire. Um, I'm just say chops, because I hate that dude. Yeah, he's got a concussion head as well. Knock him out. Um, okay. You kind of shut down the Pokemon, bro. But okay. If you could have any Pokemon card other than a Charizard, what would it be? Charizard's been? overrated. Shut, up. Shut your mouth. Charizard's podcast. Charizard's are overrated, bro. They are so. So you would turn down a first edition base set Charizard. Obviously, PSA ten. No, obviously not. But like, 
Bro, like, they they are main, but everyone just, like, sucks Charizard off way too much. Okay, bro. when you played, like, Fire Red, what was your starter Pokemon? Yeah, it would have been. Charmander. <laughs> nah, Bulbasaur, G, brothers. I'm a grass-type starter guy. Actually? Yep. Yeah, bro. I am on Emerald, I went Trico. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, if I could have any card other than Charizard, I reckon I'd probably have, like, like first edition, obviously. Yeah, like just any, it, whatever, like you want, like yeah. So oh, like the obvious, best version that you. Can obviously, have. like first edition. Probably like, oh, probably this is you're hitting the, me with quick fire. That's why it's gonna be quick fire. That I want to think about the first one that comes to mind is like Pikachu, bro. Yeah, like, facts. Just tough as chubby little guy. Yeah. Um. If you could have any guest, like ideal guest on your podcast, who would it be? Bro, um, there's like two. There's two that actually just came to my mind. One because I met him on the weekend and then the other one because I'm with you. So the first one that came to my mind was Israel Adesanya. Oh, man. Because I've seen him on a few podcasts, so it's not like it would be out of the yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Like, because I've seen him do a couple of podcasts with people. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... Not just to have him because of the hype, but I just love to pick his brain on like his mentality of being at the top. And now that he's at that top, I love to pick his brain on like how he deals with that from a mental standpoint. Because yeah. when you get good, like it's a real different to being the underdog where no one's yeah. like underdog. And everyone being... wants you to fall yeah, off yeah, when you're at the yeah, top. Yeah, so yeah. I'd love to just see how he deals with that. Obviously, it'd be cool to see like you know like fighting and all that stuff as well. And then the other one is a strength and conditioning coach from the Warriors. Same thing. We just yeah. love to pick his brain. Hard. Spoiler alert, I think he still thinks he's the underdog. That's what keeps him going. Yeah, that's... I don't know if that's confirmed, but I feel like that's probably how he thinks. Because I would make him, you know? Yeah, just like boys and stuff. Where is he? Where is he on the soundtrack? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's just a busy guy. I also, oh, he's booked yeah, up, you know, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. that. <laughs> Famous things. Oh. Okay. Those are, like, both local dudes, like, achievable. Like, obviously, ha, ha. you know, stuff like LeBron James and stuff with man as well, but, like... Okay, and who's, like, who's your Drake. one unachievable? Like, you can Le- have them on right now. LeBron or Drake? Oh, that's, that's cool. That's or cool. J. Cole. Oh, yeah. I probably wouldn't have Drake. I love Drake, bro. Yeah, I like Drake too. But I feel like I don't know what I'd talk to him about. Bro, just. What would you not talk to him about, bro? Like, bro I always ruin the quick fire because I start yawning. But, okay, I know, anyway, next funny. one, next one, next one. Rate chops his touch game out of 10. Uh, 7. Rate your touch game out of 10. Six. Nah, seven. Yeah, nice. Oh, seven. And the final question to end the party off. What time is it? Time to go on. <laughs> 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 oh, it's simp season, baby. Oh, Come on. Thank you, you bro, yeah. Um, Thanks for listening. We got your boy Finn from Alan Ave. Go check him out. He just put out a new podcast. Um, oh, when, you're, when this comes out, yeah, it'll be yesterday. And if you're listening to this on the day that it didn't come out, then it'll just be out like a few days ago, yeah. maybe a couple of weeks ago, yeah. maybe a month ago. But Alan Ave, over on Insta, Alan Ave on YouTube or like Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen, check it out. And also make sure you subscribe to some season. Subscribe, subscribe to both of us, follow both of us. Support the local, you know what I mean? Uh, are you working? What kind of work do you do? Oh. Trying to get those hundred subscribers or followers by the end of the year. You'll We're, definitely get a hundred followers. That's easier. Yeah. Subscribers is way harder. It is way harder. This will be a nice like little after clip after a little exit. Yeah, I actually like you cut it out and uh, do you see it out bro, I reckon that's so tough. That like is, the eh? exit and then like the yeah. extra. Yeah. It's some season baby.